Nicole Prousey at the Sexual Psychophysiology and Affective Neuroscience Laboratory at UCLA. And this is Narek McCurchin, who's going to explain the, how the models were created for the penile size preference study. So as you can see, we got a sizing chart from Dr. Prousey. From that sizing chart, we 3D modeled um, the, uh, the models that you see here, basically, in a 3D modeling program. Um, after that, we used the G-code program that converts the 3D model into something that can be understood by the MakerBot program. Um, MakerBot program uses uh, plastic, just as you see here, spooled into it, and it's the 3D printer, of course, that we used, and it prints the models out. There were a total of 33 models, I believe, and um, that's the basic process of how we created them. So, Nikki, why did we do this study? That is an excellent question. So I realize many people may have an interest in this study just because we're talking about penis size, but there's uh, some health concerns that we have behind it as well. One of those is women often experience pain during intercourse, and we don't know to what extent that might be related to their partner's size, so we wanted to check and see if that was a factor. Uh, but we're also interested in some of the tears that naturally occur during intercourse. So every time you have vaginal penetration, there are some tears that are associated with intercourse. And these might be of greater magnitude um, uh, or more of them when there's a larger phallus involved. That can put women at greater risk for uh, sexually transmitted infections, for example. So we also wanted to see to what extent there might be some convergence of those risks. That is, if you're preferring someone who has a larger uh, phallus size that you're also only going to see one time and are less likely to know their sexual history, uh, that's something you may want to keep in mind. That is, if you're going to be a greater uh, risk for STIs, maybe being a little more cautious than you might otherwise be as far as the, your condom use, or having that discussion with a partner about their uh, infection status and history.